Harry Roseman, that was a good ass move right there. Good ass move right there. One year and three million is what the Eagles and LeGarrette Blount has agreed to. I'll say about a round amount of uh, three million. And you know what, man? I'm not going to lie. Before all this happened, when it was just rumors going on, at first, I wasn't really for it as far as, you know, rumors going on about us getting him because, I mean, let's think about it. Yes, he had a thousand, uh, he hit a thousand rushing yards. And he also got 18 touchdowns, rushing touchdowns. Which is more than all of our running backs combined last year. I mean, let's let's see here. Ryan Matthews, eight touchdowns. Darren Sproles, two touchdowns. Keenan Barner, two touchdowns. Wendell Smallwood, one touchdown. I mean, that's 13 touchdowns right there. Then if you want to add Carson Winston to the mix, who rushed for uh two touchdowns, I mean, that's 15 total. And you're telling me five of those players didn't even match his number? That's crazy. But you know what, man? It's a pretty damn upgrade to what we have in a running back. Now you think about it. But, I mean, I love the signing now because at first I was like, eh, because he's going to want, he's probably going to want that Super Bowl money. Like, think about it. Hit 1,000 yards and 18 touchdowns and won another ring. Who wouldn't want to fucking raise after that? But, damn. One year, $3 million contract, that's a good ass fucking deal. If you want that real money, he's probably going to ask for it. He's probably going to ask for a raise next year. But you know what? If you want it, you got to fucking earn it. Just like Alshon Jeffrey and Timmy Jarrigan. Well, I think they're going to ball the fuck out here as well. But um, I love the move, man. And what, what can happen to our running backs uh, now that LeGarrette Blount is here? I mean, the two people I, I'd be concerned about is uh, Ryan Matthews. I think without a doubt, he's definitely going to be gone. Now that we got LeGarrette Blount, we got an answer in our starting running back. A huge upgrade to what we have right now besides Darren Sproles, which he won this final year anyway. But he is without a doubt a starting, starting running back, and we've been needing that. So, uh, yeah, Ryan Matthews, I think he's definitely going to be gone. Wendell Smallwood, uh, who knows what's going to happen with him. I mean... Unless, uh, worst case scenario, they want to put in Danelle Pumphrey or Corey Clement in, um, in practice field. I mean, if anything, I would probably put Danelle Pumphrey in a practice field. Yes, I did say I'd rather them start over Window Smallwood. But, I mean, the guy's a freaking toothpick. One one crazy hit, I think it's going to be a fucking rat. The guy is he's a fucking toothpick. He's got to eat a shit ton of cheese steaks. Cheeseburgers, greasy ass fries, you know, you gotta put some meat on them bones. And of course, tone up after that. If we're gonna call him Darren Sproles 2.0, yes, he's got the footwork, he is fast as hell. But here's the problem that's holding him back the guy's way too skinny, skinnier than this damn broomstick. I would love for Corey Clement and uh, Danelle Pumphrey to fucking stay. Ryan Matthews, I hope his ass get, I hope his ass bounce. And y'all already know how I feel about Wendell Smallwood. I don't think he's starting material. I won't even shed a tear if he, if he wind up, winds up getting cut. I'm going to be honest with you right now. All right, guys. LeGarrette Blount is officially an Eagle. I look forward to see how he's going to turn out in the regular season. And uh, Eagles fans, look, it was a great signing. I love the move. I'm very excited for the guy. But let's not go all ballistic saying, that, oh, we got to answer a starting running back. And, you know, we're going to get very far. We're going to do this, that, and the third. And no, let, let's not do that. Let, let's, let's pump our brakes for a second. You know what? Wentz is stacked with weapons. We'll find a doubt. Very excited. But let's not go overboard. Let let me keep it a bean right now. Let me be a realist. Let's not go overboard. Yes, we got LeGarrette Blount, a guy that had a dynamic season. 18 touchdowns, hit 1,000 yards. Just won the Super Bowl. His second one. But let's not forget what happened last time. We had a running back. A number one running back that had 1,800 rushing yards. Very talented running back. Became an eagle that following year. Didn't work out very well. I'm not saying that it's going to be a repeat with LeGarrette Blount because we actually got a solid offensive lineman this time. I mean, 
I think I think Brandon Brooks and Alan Barber are still here. I haven't heard too much about them. Then we got Lane Johnson and Jason Peters. And last but not least, uh, who, who knows what happens to Jason Kelsey if he winds up getting cut or not. Who knows? Or get traded. But then we'll have Isaac Simalu and Stephen Wilsnuski. Then we also have uh, Chance Warmack as guards or whatnot. But, uh, and, of course, Halapul Vati Vatai. But, um... Yeah, LeGarrette Blount is fucking stacked with protection, and we got wide receivers, so Wentz is fucking stacked all around. So, uh, let's pump our brakes and see how this is going to turn out for damn sure. Let's not go overboard. Very exciting move. I, lo I love the move. But let's not jinx it like we did with uh, DeMarco Murray. But all right, man, that's all I got to say, man. It's your boy, Desi. You checking on out of here, man. Shout out to the Eagles Nation out there in the Philly Knights, and I'm gone. Peace.